The Big Chill is a non-viewing space, so I think it's in between the now newly named Canadian stage, which replaces the River stage, and the Monster Energy Drink <laughs> stage. Aptly name, I don't know. I think it's, it's replacing like the thing, Black Sheep um, stage. I don't know the name because I went to it last year. Does that tall thing that Canadian had? You just go inside, it's like a lounge area. You just sit yeah. there. You have you, know, you have a nice view. I saw Proclam Hall. No, for this one, oh, no, there, the one? no, there is no sight line Proclam to any stage. Like, I was updating. Yeah, Proclam, Proclam. Proclam. <laughs> And I saw like from that from that tall thing. <laughs> it was really cool. No, it's, it's not one of those. Just seats up in the second level, kind of. Thing. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was that one. Uh, so they have also updated all their festival merchandise, and it's being designed by local Ottawa fashion house Kanaya, and they mm. will Ooh. have an on-site fashion team capturing the looks of our fashionable audience members, so most likely not me. Um, I will be wearing a black t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> and they have also increased their on-site animation, so there will be lots of fun and games going on in the crowds between shows to look out for. So they're always changing things, and I hear rumors that the stage locations are going to be changed or changed every year to try to maximize uh, best sound, noise complaints, and all kinds of things. So I th- last I thought, year's was good. I thought the stage setup last year was really good, especially after the disaster the year, the year before, before yeah. with yeah. you know the BB King performance yes. and the traffic jam, and yeah. no one could stay in that space, really, which I is am, really sad. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I hope that the, it's going to be the better. The only but argument for they, last year's was the food court, food, yeah, right, the food court right beside the, the, stage. Stage. the Claridge stage. Mm-hmm. It was so too, that, that, it was yeah, too that crazy. Was pretty crazy. I got and angry. It, for the bigger shows. Only, so that only mm-hmm. happened for a couple of the shows. I got angry trying to get my food. food and Ming, Ming was angry about getting his food. So maybe that's know. why they changed it. Don't want Ming to be angry. <laughs> yeah. uh, so... So with the Blues Fest, you got that first night that's only one stage is, or uh, maybe they'll have, no, only one stage is going, and that's for the uh, full electro dance oh, yeah. party. So they're getting that out of the way. Ooh. I think awesome. it'll be fun. Yeah, awesome. get it out of the way so that I can enjoy the rest of Blues Fest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Except for like Paul Oakenfold, but he's a legend playing at the uh, Monster yeah. stage later on. But that's going to, it's still Skrillex, Diplo, and a bunch of others, so that's going to be very, it'll, it'll be interesting. So Ming, why don't you start us off with uh, your top pits of Blues Fest? Uh, right now, at the top of my head, all I can think of uh, is uh, churches and always. And I'll probably Priority Ring. I know you play them a lot on your show. Oh, Priority Ring too. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I don't like the new album, but uh, they might make a good show. I don't. I don't mind the new album. I well, I've only heard really a few of the songs. It. Yeah, I, I like them. I, I do. I like it. Triple J plays it all the time. So um, who else is playing? Like I can't think of at the moment, but those are yeah, the three I can think Any of. Any local them. bands that you can think of off the top? Oh, of your head? Uh, the Yips, uh, New Swears, seeing how they do with a bigger crowd. Hopefully, um, this is what's this playing? Uh, New swears are 6 p.m. on July the 14th, so I'm looking forward to that. That's one on my list as well. Uh, Nightshade's plan? Oh, and I know that some of them are playing inside the Barney Dancing Theater. Yes, there is. Cool. I just can't forget the moment right now. Thrifty Kids. Sc- uh, Scattered Clouds plan? Yeah. No, that was last no. year. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so there's lots of great local acts that are playing this year, actually. I'm really excited to see Fetnat. I'm hoping that since they'll be playing Blues Fest, a lot more people will discover them because mm-hmm. um, they're phenomenal. I don't even know how to describe their sound. It, they're just so out there. Are they playing inside or outside? We, I don't think we know that yet. Yeah. And that's one thing that I'm hoping this year. Oh, it's part of it. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this year that more outside. local artists will be playing the outdoor stages yeah. because I feel like sometimes people People don't know about the show is yeah. indoors and I think it would be really great exposure for local artists to be on on the outdoor stages plus there's very limited capacity for the shows indoors, True. You know, yeah. Yeah. Fill up, uh, yeah. which never happens outside. and sometimes you have this they're sitting down when the band doesn't uh, tailor towards a sit-down crowd as well so yes. it changes their it changes yes. their dynamic yeah, if they're a local band oh I meant I need to add two more uh, Nets and Big Dick <laughs> there you go yeah and uh, I'm excited to see Flight Distance uh, oh. playing at Blues Fest and also uh, Pony Girl, who yeah. oh, started yeah. releasing new material. They were on uh, my radio show, Indie City Madness, this week, and they, their new material sounds amazing, so I can't wait to see it live. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, can we uh, view, listen to your uh, show after the show? Yeah, ckcufm.com. Perfect. Yeah. Ah. So, they're great. I'll listen to that. That's they're playing nice this one. Friday. And any other major bands that you're looking to, um, to see? Generally, other than the local acts, this year the lineup didn't really do anything for me, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, I am excited to see Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros oh. again. Oh. They're really good to see live. 
Um, I'm excited to see the Arkells. They're always a good band to see live as well. And uh, Scott Whalen's new project. Oh, I've heard terrible oh. reviews. I, I don't, I'm scared I'm just to exci- I just, I just want to see what that's like. Because I've seen him <laughs> live yeah, before. Oh, don't see if he shows up. Yeah, we'll see if he actually makes it on stage and does an like overdose. Kanye. I think uh, July 14th, that's good that you mentioned Edward Sharp. July 14th, I think that's the only time where you have a very big conflict interest between the three stages. Oh, yeah? Because oh. uh, you have Leonard Skinner, which I saw a few years ago. I, I want to, yeah. hey, I'll, <laughs> I, I want to see, they didn't play one of the songs I wanted, the song from Happy Gilmore that starts it off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if they play that this year. They're awesome live. Yeah. Uh, John Butler trio from Australia oh, that I want to see, care. and Edward Sharp on the small, on the Black Sheep stage. Last time Edward Sharp was here, they played a major stage, oh, yes. and it was packed. So it's great. This is that's going to be a really and interesting. That was a hard decision. Exactly, that's I'll a hard decision. Sharp yeah. instead. And what about you, Peter? What do you think? Uh, well, I, you know, overall, I agree with Julie that overall the lineup of Loose Fest this year is not the most exciting one for the festival. Uh, that said, you know there are always good things. I've, I've our local lists are very similar. You know, flight distance, you know, yeah. Patrick and Bender. Uh, for my money, flight distance is for the past five years and putting out the best hip hop out of this country. I'm a huge mm-hmm. fan of flight totally distance. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mets, you know, I'm from Ottawa. They're not here or based here anymore, but uh, I look forward to. And the High Low Trons from the, oh, you know, yes. the, the sublimely talented uh, Mike Dubay. And, you know, others, uh, they always put on a good show. Is that outdoors, the High Low Trons? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure which stage they're playing on. You know, otherwise, you know, the non local stuff. I'm not a big fan of Kanye West, but nah. uh, I'm, I expect that to be the biggest night of the festival, yes. and it'll be a spectacle, you know, yes. regardless of I what just, you think of it. It's a curiosity thing. It's a curiosity. Yeah, it's a curiosity. I mean, I, 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 I say I, 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 I'm not a big fan, but uh, I, I don't really understand understand the animosity some people <laughs> seem to feel for the guy. I mean, otherwise, uh, Richard Thompson, okay. the highest recommendation I can make. You know, when Rolling Stone magazine did its list of the 100 greatest guitar players in the history of rock and roll, Richard Thompson was, oh. you know, I think 18. Oh, wow. But aside from that, he was in, you know, Fairport Convention way back in the day, even before my time, much less the time of any of you guys. Uh, he is a, a, just an unbelievable guitar player. Uh, he, he's, there's just so many things going on. And the sound he makes, you think there were three people up there playing guitar. And a tremendous songwriter. Uh, and uh, it's uh, a, a very humble guy. Okay, you know, so I'll definitely uh, check that out. Great, great show. You know, otherwise, you know, Black Mountain. Yeah. You know, the music. I've never oh. seen them live. I really oh, like them. They're from uh, uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah, yeah from BC. Vancouver. Totally yeah. epic. And I'm going to mark myself now as, as the oldest guy here. The first record I ever got by my own record was for Christmas in 1974, and it was Deep Purple, made in Japan. And uh, I loved it. I still listen to it. I bought it on vinyl a year ago. Again, another copy of it. <laughs> and I saw them a few years ago at the then the Corral Center, uh, and uh, they were good. It's worth seeing. Yeah. Uh, also, like the fact that you know, it's commonly said that thought that the Spinal Tap is going to based on Deep Purple. You know, Interesting. which is. I'm excited. First credibility, but credibility nonetheless. <laughs> I love their live shows. But it should be a good show. You know, Highway yeah. Star, Strange Kind of Woman, all these songs. The live shows from the 80s in Tokyo in the water. are unbelievable. You know? I love that. All right, so my my bands that I'm looking forward to see, Bahamas Purity Ring, uh, first and foremost, Interpol. I'm very excited to see them. Yeah, that'd be a good mm. show. Man. And uh, comedian Bill Burr, my favorite comedian, so I am pumped for him coming back here. So that's going to be interesting. The comedy aspect... Uh, Weird Al Yankovic I guess. Oh, Weird. Weird. that could be interesting as long as these are all better than Bob Saget which I think they ah. will so very quickly we're going to touch on Arboretum Fest oh my God. Uh, on Arboretum there's the 19th and 20th they'll be having shows at St. Albans Church and Mugshots it is August 19th to the 23rd on the 21st and 22nd it will be at Albert I- Island or Albert Island mm. a new development mm. by Windmill the Zibby Project so it's going to be a very interesting location uh, almost triple the capacity of their old uh, location near Arts Court. Uh, near Arts Court. Uh, I'm looking forward. Uh, so passes are only forty dollars for the Friday and Saturday, which is great. Day passes twenty nineteenth, twentieth, fifteen dollars. Uh, you're going to get great food, great uh, local beer, 
I'm looking forward to the Sadie's, Braids, Ostra, Fetnat is there as well. So yes. very, Fet- very quickly. Fetnat uh, and Scattered Clouds. I have to yes. go just to see those two bands. <laughs> I think it's worth it. Absolutely. And they're both local. There you go. The Ming. one I'm really excited about is I was surprised, uh, Juliana Bardwick. She's from Brooklyn, and her album's like, I don't know what to expect for the church at her. be like, Bah! Or like <laughs> loud as hell, It'd be like her music is like it's like almost like Sigur Ross, like dreamy and stuff. So it's gonna be like mm-hmm. oh my god. And I want to see Astra Braids, Fedra, Fedra, Pedro, Fedra. They're from Toronto. It's like the two members of Hooded Thing and New Square. See how they do it this time about the security. <laughs> yeah, about a month later, and very quickly, Peter, your thoughts? Well, I'm gonna second both uh, Fetnet and Scattered Clouds. Yeah. This whole kind of post prog post Captain Beefheart kind of scene coming out of Holland Gatineau with these guys like Oliver Fairfield and you know it's Pierre Luc Clement and these guys. It's a really interesting sound. Yeah. And also not from Ottawa but Del Bell. Oh you know, from trial. I want to check them out. They're for good. Sure. I, I don't They're know perfect. what the sound was called. I mean I was thinking for a while maybe it was some kind Swampy of Swampy Rock trip hop thing. But, De- Del Bell the, but they played at St. Albans before? Yeah they no 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 they no. played monk shots okay. for frequency but it was now I'm gonna to refer to it as Neo Cabaret. Oh, <laughs> you know, uh, I like that. Uh, uh, it's um I just like this very atmospheric. So the, it's going to be excellent. Well, and so I hope to see you out at that. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Oh. As we've hit many festivals. City Folk just went on sale today. I guess very quickly, which band are you look, most excited for at seeing, seeing at City Folk, which will be at Lansdowne this year? Peter, who, who's uh, your number one? Will Cole, though, I've seen him before, so I've got to say Lucinda Williams. I've never seen. She's a genius. Wow. And uh, I can't wait. That's going to be excellent for sure. For me, the Abbott Brothers and Lisa Leblanc. Uh, Definitely. Lucinda, that's amazing. These are all bands I haven't seen, so that's great. Yeah. If uh, I'm in I Ottawa, but I'll see all Monsters and Men. <laughs> <laughs> and so all Monsters and Men, unfortunately, Andrew, my co-host, is getting married that night. Thank you, Andrew, for picking up Monsters and Men night. <laughs> I'm not going to Oshiega. I'm going to Way Home. They're playing Oshiega, so that sucks. But any, other than that, my favorite band would uh, that I'm looking forward to is probably... Abbott Brothers, or no, Wilco's number one, sorry. Yeah. Wilco's number one, but I, I want to see Lucinda Williams based on your recommendation. Van Morrison based on somebody saying that when they played Blues Fest, or Folk Fest before, it was the most packed ever. And Blues I'm, Fest, yeah. Blues, Blues Fest. Fest? Yeah, we have 30,000 plus people. There. That's So that's enough for me. And Abbott Brothers, of course, uh, yeah. I've missed them when I was in Nashville. So... Thank you so much for coming on. I hope everybody listening uh, will go check out. I think we've made a very good plea for the local yeah. bands. I hope people will check out this. I hope people will listen to this uh, episode for sure. Uh, very quickly before we go, events this week. Uh, Diane Ladreau is having a Orange Gallery opening tonight for her artwork. It's amazing. It's one week, 30 pieces. Velvo Fashion Show. Ryan Hensworth is playing at Babylon. What? That's an awesome one. <laughs> Ming just found that out. Tonight, Peggy Blair, one of my favorite authors, and she's from Ottawa, is having a book launch for her Hungry Ghost book. It's the third book in the Ramirez Detective series. Read both. With an art Hall- show. With an art show, show yeah. at Holland's Cake and Shake. Will I see you there tonight, Peter? Uh, no, I've got the three other art openings to go yeah. tonight. The <laughs> Ottawa Gallery. Yeah, uh, I'm going to ask. Uh, PDF projects on Elgin oh, okay. and uh, John Barkley at uh, and Orange Inn. That really, this is an art night. Yeah, OAG tonight because I want a free food and PDA, which is Alaska from Yamataka. So I work for John Badly. PDA. Did I say PDF? You said PDA. No, that's, that's good. Uh, live on Elgin finally opens with the Belknies and Fevers with a free show. I Ming has let me know that that's going to be jam packed. I think a lot of people will be crying at the door. Which leads yeah. <laughs> on into Doors Open Ottawa, where you can go and you won't be crying. That's this weekend, Ottawa okay. Veg Fest. Sam Bosco from Trailer Park Boys at Mavericks. You forgot Pony Girl. <laughs> and Pony Girl playing at Black Sheep. Sam Bosco with the Sam Squanch. <laughs> it's going to yes. be, I wish I could make it to that. I wish I could make it to that. Uh, so have a great week, everyone. Have a great summer. Enjoy this uh, and listen to all of our re- respective shows. Go to our respective websites and enjoy music in the capital. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you. Bye.